how Superman punch him. Let's just be in the mood of worship as we worship the Lord. In Anjo Gueshu. That's right. My enemies have failed. See, 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 see. Dear, dear. I have it over there for a long call up with me. I combine my anointing with the anointing of my father, Prophet Apostle Dr. Bora. Ah, what's it there? 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 Friend, friend, friend! Fred, when are you going to be through with this your fasting stuff? Me, I'm the hungry. Oh. And go to the kitchen and prepare something to eat. What are you talking about now? Everybody knows you are the best cook around here. Ah, and it's not like you don't like food, though. You don't joke with your food. But once you start this your spiritual exercise, you put the whole house on total lockdown. Ah, total lockdown. Yes, starvation. Starvation. I, I don't even know what is going on. What's the meaning of all of this? I can't cook something now. Frank, I thought we were supposed to do this together. Wait a I have told you time zero number. That you need to give your life to Jesus Christ. You need a new life. To be saved. Hey, it is... Hey, 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 hey. You don't do. I won't stand for that. Just because I ask you to enter kitchen and cook something that we we'll both eat, that has now given you the opportunity to overwhelm me with your salmon. Continue. Excuse me. Fred, I have an important night party. Do you know where I kept my kids? It's on the shelf. Don't you think it's too late? Too late? This is not my first time. And I know how to take care of myself. I think you need security. Security? Yes. The only security that can protect you. Eh? I am talking of no other person but Jesus. Fred and Frank. Fred! Fred! Please open the door now. Fred! Who is there? Fred, please open the door now. Don't you have your key? Open the door! Hold on now. Ah. Ah. Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Jesus. What happened to you? Eh? I just escaped death. Big boy Shawama was just murdered at the party by court guys. Caught, murdered. Is that something you're not telling me? Um, actually, yes. Exactly what you are thinking. I was a member of the court when I was on campus. Was? I left a few years back. I never killed anybody. But I didn't know they were still after Big Boss Shawama. They got to him a few hours ago at the party. I murdered him. Hey! I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Jesus help me. Did you lock the door? Huh. Fred, you lock this door now. Fred, lock the door. <laughs> Jesus. I don't want to die. 
I mean, I'm not ready to die. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready to die yet. I'm not ready to die. Jesus. Jesus, help me. So, now you need help from Jesus? Eh? The Jesus you have rejected so many times. <laughs> I'm just calling Jesus. Ah. Keep calling him. He will answer you. Where are you going? Friend. Friend. Now, please, please don't leave. Please, I need help. Fred. Fred, I need help. Fred. You don't need help. Fred. I need help. You don't. Ah. Fred, Fred, please now. Please help me. Please. Ah. Okay, okay. I, I, I will tell you everything. Uh, ah. You will talk. Yes, yeah, well, sit down. Now. Don't go. Ah. Okay. Talk. After I left the group, yes. Big Boss helped me with Big Boss helped me with a charm to protect me from the cult. That was where I got this mark on my shoulder. This mark is supposed to drive away evil. It's supposed to scare the devil away. Hmm. That's why I always tell you I don't need your Jesus. Because I was sure of the protection. Not until Big Boss was murdered right before my eyes. Fred. Fred, I, I, I'm in trouble. Just help me. Help me. Help your guy. Fred, help your guy. You're already tormenting me spiritually. Help your guy. Fred, please now. I'm sorry, Frank. I can't help you. But, uh, but I know someone who can help you. Thank you. Who? Only Jesus can help you. Jesus. Yes, Jesus. He's the only way to salvation. He can deliver you from the shackles of death. And give you everlasting peace. Only if you can forsake and confess your sin. And you'll be saved. Jesus. Yes. Fred, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. What do I need to do? I'm ready, Fred. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, I'm ready. I, am I sure? Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready to forsake everything. I'm ready. Jesus. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Good morning. Fred, Alpha. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Oh. <sighs> what? <laughs> what is it? It's 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I slept like a baby. I can't remember the last time I experienced such. Hmm. That's the reward of a peaceful mind. It's the Lord's doing. Psalm 127 verse 1. Unless the Lord builds the house, its builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stand guard in vain. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat. For he grants sleep to those he loves. Well, th thank you very much. Thank you for showing me the way. Give thanks to Jesus for saving you by grace. 
Now you need to go spiritually. By fellowshipping with God, you need to learn how to pray, read your Bible, and fellowship with God's children. Well, no problem. Uh, will you teach me? Sure. <laughs> Where my guy? So, so then go and clean up. What do we have for today? Ah, now you now. You are the chief cook. I see. There's a snake there. I swear. The, my enemies have failed. See, 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 see. There, there. This was the clothes you were putting on. You gave me the car keys to drive. A few minutes later, I drove the car into a big pit, and the car exploded. And then I, I rejected to Jesus' name. Let's take this worship song as we worship the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the I am that I am. Alagbada, you know. Bogbo gonton jamini koko. Oh Lord. Frank. Jesus! What is the matter? What's the meaning of all of this now? You frightened me! Oh, sorry, sorry. But, but what? Get out. Sorry now. <laughs> Frank, Dick, you are driving. What did you just say? I said you are driving. I never. I reject it. <laughs> but why? <laughs> that was exactly how we happened in my dream. This was the clothes you were putting on. You gave me the car keys to drive. A few minutes later, I drove the car into a big pit and the car exploded. And then I, I rejected it in Jesus' name. <laughs> that is not our portion. Uh -uh. Why are you thinking like this, Frank? I said my dream, my dream, and I don't joke with my dreams. Dreams can be real sometimes. Where is your faith in Christ Jesus? Frank, so you exalt your dream above the word of God. Say whatever you want to say. I am not driving this car today. All right, I will drive, get inside. Uh -huh. We are late already. When last year from die your friend now? Who is that? That guy that traveled. Oh, that one. <laughs> I don't hear anything from that guy. You. <laughs> Sharp guy. You know what I mean, call. 
But you were supposed to keep his connection. That one. Immediately he enter Yankee like this, he disconnect me. Sharp guy. <laughs> Sharp guy. Sharp. How far we see? <laughs> There's a snake there. I swear. Yes. My enemies have failed. See, 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 see. There, there. Be careful. <laughs> So, this is the snake that is frightening you. This is the... See, I, I'm not even parking clothes again. What, what kind of place? I'm not even parking any... Fred, check out about draw. First break. Pharaoh, thank you for another opportunity to be in your presence tonight. Thank you, Father. May your name be praised forever in Jesus. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you all for seeing us through the activities of today. We'll give you all praise honor. An adoration. Be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. As we go to bed tonight, we pray you will protect us from every unforeseen circumstances. In the name of Jesus. Amen. <clears throat> and tomorrow morning, let's have reasons to glorify Amen. Him. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray it. Amen. Fred, hmm? why did you pray like that? Like how? You know we are surrounded by principality, evils and darkness. Do you think a simple prayer like that is enough to scatter our enemy? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think I, I need to pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. I will take the prayer. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's be in the mood of worship. Let's take this worship song as we worship the King of Kings. The Lord of Lords, the I am that I am. Allah badai no. Bogbo gunton jami ni koko. Oh Lord. Bogbo gunton jami la belle. E du marigbe mi leke. Bogbo Oh Lord, we worship you. Lord, we worship you. E do mare gbe mi le ke gbogbo won ko to di pe won o ba mi la ye je Fred are you are you worshiping God gbogbo go to ja mi ni koko gbogbo go to ja mi la bele oh lord i worship you Hey, do my reggae, me like it, bo bo wan, go to the bay, yo ba me la ye je. Let's just be in the mood of worship, as we worship the Lord. In anjo go eshu o ah, in anjo go eshu e. Ina manjo ogun eshu, ina njo ogun eshu, ina njo ogun eshu, ina njo ogun eshu. All our enemies, all my enemies, that are turned to poshwa, fire, fire, Holy Ghost fire, poshu them, Holy Ghost fire, poshu them, Holy Ghost fire, catch them. Holy Ghost fire, catch them! Holy Ghost fire, burn them! Fred, I don't know why you're doing this. I was praying prayerfully when you suddenly stood up and left. And what made your prayer powerful? Because you were binding and losing the enemy. 
eh? praying in fear instead of you praying in faith. I can see you are full of fear. You don't understand your position in Christ Jesus. I'm sorry. You are yet to know or understand God's word. Take. Take. Open our read Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. <sighs> Colossians one chapter 1, verse 13. Who had delivered us from the power of darkness and had conveyed us into the kingdom of his dear son. Then... 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Mm. <laughs> For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Do you now understand? For God had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Hmm. Wow. Yes. Yes. To manage your time and resources more efficiently. Mm. Akika, give it to the professor of planning and time management. <laughs> but for me, I don't need that. I don't. I have all of my plans here. Yes, I have good storage capacity with high speed. Hey Fred. How are you? No, I'm all fine, I'm all right. <laughs> I wonder why you stress yourself with this every morning. <clears throat> with this? Yes. You keep writing what to do, how to do, when to do, for whom to do, to whom to do, every morning. That is planning. Planning. You see? If you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. A good plan saves you time and money. Planning helps you focus on things that really make a difference. It helps you prioritize your activities. It helps you to predict change and then respond to it effectively. And also, it helps you to manage your time and resources more efficiently. Mm. Akika. Give it to the professor of planning and time management. <laughs> but for me, I don't need that. I don't. I have all of my plans here. Yes. I have good storage capacity with high speed. <laughs> Look, I know what to do and how to do everything at any given time. I don't need to be writing things down, up and down like you. Professor of Planning and Time Management. Hello? Hey Jude, what's up? Yeah, are you around? Jude, you've been around since last Friday and you didn't call me. Hey, keep quiet. Keep quiet, yeah. Jude, my guy. Oh yeah, where you did? Where you did? Just start, please. Hey, no problem now. Ah. Just give me 45 minutes. 45 minutes, I will just change the jaw. <laughs> Dude, my guy! I've been trying to call you on phone. 
We have you been. It's off. Patrick was down. Anyway, Femi Idris called. Femi? Yes. And I think it is very important and urgent. Nice. Take my phone and call him back. All right. Thank you. <sighs> oh. What did you say with normal way? Femi Idris. Femi Idris. Fred and Frank and Frank. Yeah, I'm sorry, my bash was. What? That was this morning. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, I never check my mail. Oh yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. What's the matter? Femi was calling to remind me of um, the MTB International interview. It was this morning. So you missed the interview. But where have you been? I was hanging out with you. Since morning? Yes. When I got to um, Jude's place, you remember Favor, a friend that just got back from the UK? Uh -huh. We went to his place to go and welcome him. He suggested that we go to the cinema to go and watch the latest movie. End of the journey. That's right. So. And then we left the cinema when Favor's sister, Ibirunke, persuaded us to follow her to um, a birthday party, a friend's birthday party in Jerry. That's wonderful. Then, wonderful. after the birthday party, my friend was tired. And uh, he persuaded me to drive. Hmm. And I had to go and drop everybody at their various destinations. So I dropped them at their destination, then I took bike home. That's all. Can't believe I missed this interview. Ah. So you planned for your day just like that, up there. Or it was your friend that planned it for you. Since you have a large story capacity with high speed. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Are you mocking me? My friend, if you fail to plan for your day, People will definitely plan it for you. Now you have missed a very important interview. You are too busy to plan or even check your important meals. I don't think you need a diary. However, <laughs> it's a waste of time since you have a very large storage capacity with a very high speed. Anyway, you know what to do at any given time. I'm sorry. <laughs> This interview pay me or... Lovely. That is good. You know, it's good to plan. But always remember God's word. In Proverbs 16, 3, commit your plan unto the Lord and you will establish your plan. Mm. So it's not just about planning. No, it's all about God. Here waiting. This is not even enough. I want to manage it. Manage it. Doctor complain about your sugar level and your weight. This has to do with your 
poor memory and concentration level. It's all stupid, dear. Yeah. You are fond of eating jokes, fast foods, and eating late at night. I think you lack a healthy diet. Fred. Where's the soft drink I kept in the fridge? Orange or blueberry? Orange. It's gone. What do you mean by it's gone? I've taken it. Blackberry. It's gone. Oh. Fred. I'm tasting, huh? Then you should have taken water. Fred. <laughs> what is it now? Uh -huh. <coughs> Fred, are you all right? How do you mean? You have taken three bottles already today. And you are fond of doing that every day. At your age, do you think that is LD? Drinking high amount of sugar sweetened beverages such as soda can have a various adverse impact on your health. And these range from increased chances of tooth decay to a higher risk of heart disease and even metabolic disorder. But drinking plenty of water would help. Because water helps to flush our system of waste products and toxins. Taking soda is never an alternative to drinking water. Here waiting. This is not even enough. I want to manage it. Manage it. Now it is very important you start with the early diet. No more junks, there's no more eating late at night. Do you copy? <sighs> yes, I do. Thank you. Fred and Frank. What are you trying to do? Um, I... Trying to eat late at night. Fred. It's not bad to eat at night if you are hungry or you live a busy lifestyle. But why not eat not? Or smoothie with some fresh fruits. I'm hungry. <laughs> Fred, learn to eat to live and not to satisfy hunger. That's why your stomach is that big. Uh -uh. There is smoothie in the freezer. I saw this bottle in the fridge. 
and I know you are taking them. Do you, do you try to explain? This is Agbo Jedi, and this is Agbo Iba. Whatever it may be, I think you need to know this, friend. Bro, Alpha. I still have a lot to cover. Three more assignments to go. And I have to submit them before 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have a long way to go. When are you defending your project? This Friday. <coughs> You've really got a big task. I think I should leave you, excuse you to focus on all of this. Thanks, thanks. All right. Fred, are you okay? I don't think so. I'm having headache, body pain. <laughs> and what drug are you taking? Painkiller and sedative and... And who prescribed those to you? Andy. Actually, nobody. I just know they will work. You just know they will help. Fred, taking drugs without health practitioner's prescription is nothing but drug abuse. Drug abuse! Fred, what are you doing to yourself? Eh? Hold on. I saw this bottle in the fridge. And I know you are taking them. Do you, do you try to explain? This is Agbo Jedi. And this is Agbo Iba. Whatever it may be. I think you need to know this, Fred. Abuse of prescription drug, including anti-anxiety medication, sedative, or painkiller, can be very dangerous if you do not seek appropriate 
medical treatment. These about drug abuse can do more harm than you can imagine. You take them without dosage or knowing the content of what you are drinking. Fred, you don't just automatically assume they are safe and consume it. Get treated, go to the cleaning. How's that you be saying you, be, you do the right thing? I'll help you keep all of this one until you do the right thing. Uh-uh. At least I can take a bubble. Go to the thing. Oh, I can't hey, Frank. Aren't you going to spoil me with special dish? Ah, uh -huh. special dish. <laughs> Of course, of course, now. Nah. Uh -huh. Well, I'll prefer Royal Eatery or M&T Restaurant. M&T. Oh my God. <laughs> M&T. The minimum price per plate is Frank, please, where's my khaki? I'm talking to you now. What now? I'm busy, very busy. Check the table. <laughs> Who is she? The woman I want to marry. You like? Lovely. <laughs> Aha! <laughs> oh, she's calling me. <clears throat> Hello, Tiwa. Hi. Yes, yes, yes. I saw your chat. Okay. <laughs> Come on. No, no problems. Oh, you know you're always welcome here. Yes. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Bye. Drop the call. <laughs> <laughs> now I know the reason why you always smile alone. You never said anything. You never told me anything about her. Who is she? Tiwa. Tiwa. Tiwa is a beautiful damsel, specially designed by the Almighty God. God took extra time to create her fearfully and wonderfully. Mm. Her voice and her eyes are like that of the angels. Seeing her reminds me of God's glory and splendor. Mm. <laughs> the first time I met her, I heard the voices of the heavenly beings loudly saying, Behold, this is the bone of your bone. And the flesh of your flesh. Mm. The woman that will help you fulfill your dream. Mm. Oh, what do you want? What do you want? Come on. Uh -uh. Frank, are you prepared for marriage? I mean, have you prayed about this? Do you know anything about this lady and her family? Do you. Please, please. Stop bombarding me with all of those questions. See, you always like to over spiritualize things. God has given us common sense to be able to differentiate between good or bad. But marriage is not just a matter of common sense. Eh? The foundation of a marriage must be God. Knowing God's plan for you is essential. Please, marriage counselor. Please. I am okay with your someone. Okay? She will come. And then you can see and confirm everything I've been telling you. I'm off to your office. Bye-bye. I yeah, won't spoil my mood now. Siwa. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm 
point. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so this is my friend. Fred. Fred, meet my beautiful Tiwa. Hmm. Frank has said so much about you. Pleased to meet you, Tiwa. Thank you, Fred. I've heard so much about you too. Thanks for taking care of Frank. Ah, oh, come on. We're taking care of each other. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Frank, aren't you going to spoil me with special dish? Ah, special dish? <laughs> of course, of course, now. Nah. Ah. Oh. Well, I'll prefer Royal Eatery or oh, M&C Restaurant. M&C Restaurant? Oh my God. <laughs> they are the best in town. Oh. Yeah, they have varieties of special dishes. Variety. I'm sure you will love it. <laughs> I will love you. Yeah. Anything for you, Tiwa. Anything. <laughs> M&T. The minimum price per plate is 4500 4500 It's an expensive restaurant, actually. Fred. <laughs> well, I will suggest that. I just want to suggest we make a special dish at home. I will handle that. Wow. <laughs> That's nice. No. It's very nice. Fred is a very, very good cook. Wow. I'm sure you'll love it, Tewa. Okay. Ah. <laughs> I would love to join in the kitchen then. Please be my guest. I, I, I would love to be praying for your thoughts. Fred and Frank.
Thanks so much, Fred. Thanks for the food. Thank God. I would like to come back again. Sure, no problem. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see how. I'll be back shortly. All right. No All right. All right. Fred, I think I need to go back to the drawing board. Fred. Fred, I said I'm sorry. I have had that stamps you don't know. You will never change. But now, don't say that. I am growing every day. I'm learning each day. You, you, you don't expect me to just change overnight, do you? Look, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I have forgiven you, Frank. Just that I can't stay with you any longer. Uh, if you are leaving, it means you have not forgiven me. Ah, Say whatever you like. Fred, I said I'm sorry. I have had that. Time is your number. Eh? You will never change. <laughs> don't say that. I am growing every day and learning each day. You, you don't expect me to change all of a sudden. Okay. Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I have forgiven you. Eh? But I can't stay with you. <laughs> eh, if you are leaving, it means you have not forgiven me. Ah. You say whatever you like. See, a mosquito will bite you. Um, Fred, I've checked the kitchen. My food is not there. Do you prepare anyone? No, but we. I have said there's no food in this house again. Hmm? I have said there's no way in this house again. Yes! If you are hungry, you know your way to the kitchen. Ah? Uh -huh. You cook for yourself. Ah! I don't even know why I'm explaining all this to you. You are not a kid. Are you understand English? Hey. <laughs> Is this how a Christian behaves? Oh, this is how a Christian behaves. I said I am sorry, but it is obvious you have not forgiven me by not relating with me the way we used to before. What else do you want me to do? No, what else do you want me to do now? I've repented, but you know what? with my mouse? Yes, um, I'm still using it. You know my laptop's right pad is faulty. Please, I need it. Do you need it right away? I just want to keep it. It's mine. I understand. Um, okay. I want to sleep. Please, can you move to the other side? I've been sleeping on the sofa, so it's my bed. Please. All right, no problem. Let me just shut down. Come on. Uh, 
Um, Fred, before you sleep, um, can we pray? No problem. Before we pray, I would like us to read some read God's word, some Bible passages. Luke chapter 6, verse 35 and 36. Luke chapter 6, 35 and 36. But love your enemies. Do good to them. And lend to them without expecting to get anything back. Then your reward will be great. And you will be children of the Most High. Because he is kind to the ungrateful and wicked. Be merciful, just as your father is merciful. Matthew chapter 6, 14 and 15. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your father will not forgive your sins. Matthew chapter 18 verse 35 This is how my heavenly father will treat each of you unless you forgive your brother or sister from your heart. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for the grace to live through today. Lord, we pray that your word will illuminate every dark recess of our heart and that your word would germinate in our heart as we sleep tonight in Jesus name amen right good night Bye. I'm sorry I'm sorry for everything. Let's just accept it's the work of the devil. No problem now. It's alright. Are you still sleeping yet? Oh shit. Sure. I'm going to do a mosquito walk. Maybe I tell you. Man. I tell you it's a mosquito. Let's go do it. We're going to do with demonstration as well. My head, my shoulder. My knees, my toes, my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. They all belong to you. Fine, be serious now. We're in the presence okay, of God. Okay. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. Frank, <clears throat> please stand up. Let's do the general devotion. It's six already. Frank, it's six a.m. already. Please stand up. Let's do the devotion. I read from Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Before we go out this morning, I want us to dwell more on this passage. If there is anything we Amen. You know what? 
Well, and to conclude this devotion, we're going to sing these choruses and then we'll pray. The first one is Yoruba, and I know it, you know it very well. We're going to do it with full demonstration. Uh -huh. Come and sing. Maduro yi, ma bere bega, Maduro yi, ma bere bega. E me a yipo yi ologo, ola run tito. E me a yipo yi ologo, ola run yi. Ma duro yi, ma bere be ogan. Ma duro yi, ma bere be ogan. E me a yipo yi ologo, ola run tito. E me a yipo yi ologo, ola run yi. Can we sing the second song and pray, please? Okay, no problem. We're going to do with demonstration as well. What? Yes. <laughs> my head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. They all belong to you. Can't be serious now. We're in the presence of okay, God. Okay. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. My head, my shoulder, my knees, my toes. They all belong to. Tell me this is what you are said to do to be. Eh? I don't look at myself now. When I hope you not get a job. Then do something. Start something. Even if it is small. <laughs> I can't do what you are doing. I can't do such job. The payment is small. I am a graduate with 2-1. Why should I be paid such an amount? I deserve better pay. I know my words, even if you don't know your own words. Come to think of it. I wonder why you bother yourself every day. You wake up early in the morning, disturbing my sleep, and dressing up like you are working in one big company. You better stop mocking and disgracing yourself in public. Hello today, Alpha. Please, I don't have much credit. Can you transfer 1k to my account? A 1000 naira. You know, get? No, I go return now. Hello? Ah, wow. One minute remaining. 
Who do I call? Bola. Mommy. Mommy. <clears throat> Hello, mommy. Hey, mommy, please. I, I have less than one minute. And can, can I get one key from you? Yes. And I, I, I just need it for some things. You know, bad to bad transportation. Ah, uh, mommy, please. Hello? Hello? <sighs> Hello, Fred. Uh, hi, hello. Oh. Hello, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sending me to today. May the name of Christ be with Amen. Fred. So what's up? Good. That was work now. Fine, thank you. Fred, Fred. <clears throat> so work was fine. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Red. Are you okay? Red, I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. I am very hungry. Uh, I've not had anything since morning. Ah. Hmm? Johnny. Fred, my God! <laughs> Fred, wait. Wait, wait! <laughs> Fred, Fred! Fred, Fred! Where did you get this one? Wait, 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 Fred! Fred, <laughs> Fred now. Wait, yeah, let's change this point. Let's change this point. Fred, how far? So, how was work? Ah, we got drink for us. Thank you, Jesus. Fred, Fred. So, how far now? How was it? Yeah, My father, my father, open the door for me. Open the door for me. Every door that the devil has closed against my breakthrough. <laughs> Every door that the devil has closed against my breakthrough and prosperity. Open in the name of Jesus. Open in the name of Jesus. Every door. My father, my father, open the door for me. Every door that the devil has closed against my breakthrough and prosperity. Open in the name of Jesus. Hey, father, open the door for me. Every door that the devil has closed against me. Every door that has been closed against my destiny. That has been closed against my prosperity. Ah, Baba, open it. Open in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Anyone standing on my way to divine destiny. Hey! Anyone standing on my way to divine destiny. Holy Ghost! Fire destroy them! Oh, ha! 
Anyone standing on my way to divine destiny. Anyone standing on my way to divine destiny. Anyone standing on my way to divine destiny. Holy Ghost fire destroy them. 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 Destroy them. Destroy them. Ah, anywhere my destiny is hanging. Anywhere my destiny is hanging. Shay, shay, shay. Baba, bring it for me. Bring it. How can my destiny be hanged anywhere? My destiny come. My destiny come for me. In the east, come for me. In the west, come for me. In the north, come for me. In the south, hey, my destiny. Anybody that is hanging my destiny. By fire, in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Prayer number 10. <laughs> Every river of failure. Ray. That has swallowed hundreds and is flowing towards my direction. Hey! Dry up by fire! Every river of failure that has swallowed up hundreds that is coming towards my direction. Dry up by fire! 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 Ah! Dry up! Dry up! Dry up! Dry up by fire! Dry up by fire! Dry up by fire! Dry up by fire! Every river! Every river of destruction! Tuesdays by 10 a.m. is the time for divine healing. And on Thursday by 10 a.m. too is the hour of divine intervention. Come and see people. Come and see manifestation of God. Miracles and prophetic manifestation was just following miracle and prophetic manifestation. <laughs> that church now. Ah. Yeah. I always see crowd every Tuesday and Thursday. Along that street, expensive cars are parked. Along the street, young, old, government workers who are supposed to be at work all converge together for healings and miracles. Exact. What do you mean? Exactly what you are thinking. Eh? Crowd moving from one mountain to the other, from one church to another, from one prophet to another, just like the day of Jesus Christ. Eh? You wonder, is this how much people love God? Mm. Mm. By the way, why are you not coming to our church again? Our church. <laughs> Point of correction. Your church, not our church. Your church is too cold for me. I can't stand an atmosphere that is that cold. No miracle, no prophecy, no raw healings. The atmosphere is too cold for me. I think that's why there are very few people in that your church, Seth. Frank, uh, it is wrong. I think you are wrong. Hmm? You, are the, you, you know why you are going to that church. See, it's still, the fact is that there is no manifestation. If there is manifestation, I will come to your church. I disagree with you. Until there is manifestation. I disagree with okay. you. Okay. Ah. I'm calling me. Hello? Yes, this is Frank. Frank speaking. Yeah! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Yes, yes! No, I will send it. I will send it now. Ah! My promotion has landed! Fred, my promotion has landed! Oh, look at boy. Oh, thank you. The God of Prophet Odinjensu, thank you. The God of Orion K. Soro Mipola, thank you. Thank you. Ah, my promotion has landed. Fred, chicken on me. Kill us of I will give you. Promotion has landed. You are still here? Hmm? 
This match is a must watch. Oh my <laughs> my <laughs> Come on! First time at night. I've missed to I've missed to You have changed, Frank. And you're not sensitive about it. You stop going to fellowship. Your fellowship with God is going so cold. You no more come to church or go to these your various prayer meetings. Eh? I never see you praying or reading the word of God like before. Eh? And I think all this started after you got your promotion at work. Is this how much you love God? Eh? Now you have received from him, you don't need him again. Abby, it is a pity that the reason why many people seek God is to receive answer to their prayers. Hmm? And you are one of them. Ah, I have to buy that for long call up with me. Hmm. I combine my anointing with the anointing of my father, Prophet Apostle Dr. Bora. Are you sure you brought this passcard home? When last did you see it? I brought it home. I saw it last night. I always put it here. Here. We will find it. Hmm. When? How? Look, if I don't find this passcard, I better just say goodbye to my job. No, stop that. Be positive. Eh? I think we need to pray about this. Please, sure. We need to pray. We sure need to pray. <sighs> My enemy is in trouble. Give me your hand. Lord Jesus, thank you because you always hear us. Thank you because you said we should ask in your name. We believe that you will hear us at this moment. Reveal to us where this Pascal is. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we Amen. have prayed. Is that all? Yes. I believe we're going to find it. Do you? Did you see anything? How? When you prayed. You mean you didn't receive any instruction on where we could find the passcard? God did not show you how we can find the card. The prayer is answered. Fred, now, why do you insist? Just let me know. Are you following me or am I going alone? Okay, I'll go with you. Thank you. This is how you are going. Okay. Fred and Frank and Frank. Thank you very much, Apostle. Thank you very much. Mm, don't thank me yet. Let us finish the second part of the prayers. Let us pray. Let us pray. You are surrounded by a cloud of enemies. What I am seeing around you are enemies within and enemies without. 
awon ota le mu ati ota le ba lo fe fi mu re danrin ah ah sugar o gboro gba fun please let me apostle let us please take the second part okay. <coughs> pray now oluwa to pe mi ran ni se mo ke pe o nitori awon to fe baye omo re je ah ada hmm the enemies have decided to hide your past card in order to frustrate and torment you. Oh God. Ah, I have to be alone. Call up with me. Hmm. Yes. I combine my anointing with the anointing of my father, Prophet Apostle Doctor Pora, Theory mm. Okay Pora, yes. to forcefully command the past card. To come out Amen. from its hidden place. Ah, ah, oh, no, oh. Hmm. Or, or, so we pay. Oh, do, kishan, ko, bo, duen. Ah, ah. You demonstrated your power by allowing Paul to walk on the water when the storm was raging. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, no, oh. You commanded $10,000 to come out from the mouth of fish yeah. in the Bible. Hmm. Oluwao, you commanded Eje Gebre and Eje Ure to part the sea for the Israelites. Oh Lord, command this pastor to come forth. Amen. Ojiribe. Amen. Ben Yoli. Amen. Jesus. Oluwao. Amen. 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 Dile, 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 dile. Thank you very much. Hmm. Dile. Shuba. Koto le ri onti owa. Hmm. You have to make sacrifices. A sweet flavor unto the Lord. <laughs> I mean, a seed. Apostle, as long as I'm going to find my pascal, anything for the Lord. His pascal is very important, sir. You will find it. That's it. That's it. Uh, Apostle. Okay, okay, no problem. Come. No problem. <clears throat> Fred. Fred, where are you going? Let's go back to the apostle now. What? Don't tell me you are going back to that first teacher. Apostle, or what do you call him? Eh? I am highly disappointed in you, Frank. So you brought me to a man who knows nothing about God's word. He is full of incantations and heresies. Fred, I can't take that. I can't take Will you that. shut up, my friend? There is no place in the Bible that says, Odokisa Kobujuayi. Ah ah. It was never recorded in the Bible that $10,000 was retrieved from the mouth of the fish. Paul did not walk on the water. It was Peter. Or Angel Gabriel. Or Uriah parted the Red Sea. Uh, I, I never noticed any of that. You won't notice. You won't notice since you have been blinded by your ignorance. Eh? You only look for people who will tell you what you want to hear. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. Hey, what about my pass card now? Can me find it on the table? Are you going or not? Understand Holy Spirit. Let me deal with him. He can't do me. I mean, he cannot defeat me when we fight. Physical. If he tries it, if he, if he tries it at all, if I give him some Superman punch or Arkel, I, I will spear him. Where, where did you Make get Make I deal with the guy. Where did you get all this from? Eh? You have to take things easy. Allow the Holy Spirit and forget about what He has done to Please. you. Please, let's leave the Holy Spirit aside and face reality. When you leave the Holy Spirit, what else do you have? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Where did you get this idea from? These guys don't understand the Holy Spirit. 
They don't understand the Holy Spirit. Let me deal with him. He can't handle me. I mean, if we fight, he cannot defeat me. If he tries it, if he, if he tries it at all, if I give him so, Superman punch or RKO, I, I will spear him. Where, where did you Make get Make I deal with the guy. Where did you get this from? Where? WWE. Oh, now I understand. That's what I'm telling you. Let me deal with the guy. As the pastor mounted the podium, he started speaking in tongues. The sick man shouted, Holy Spirit. Immediately, the second madman jumped out of the church with the pastor's wife. And so the pastor, they walk like Frank. this. If they walk like this. Frank, can we talk? Now? Yes, now. Okay. What's up? You see, in our search for entertainment, enjoyment, and realization, we often unthinkingly accept the world's idea of fun. And if we are not careful, we can harm ourselves and our relationship with God. In a nutshell, it is very important we watch what we watch. What are you trying to say? Are you saying that we should only watch Christian movies and not watch anything secular? Is that what you are saying? Mm, don't get me wrong. Secular media and activities can be entertaining, educational, or uplifting. We don't need to remind ourselves and only watch, read, or listen to things which are overly Christian. But we should carefully evaluate what we do for recreation and entertainment, and how these activities affect us. I, I still don't understand you. Can you make me understand? Okay. You see, much of the entertainment and literature in our society are ungodly. This does not apply to obvious materials such as pornography. It applies to regular TV shows, videos, movies, books, magazines, and music. Much entertainment presents a false or incomplete picture of reality by leaving Christ out. It is like reading a book about how to survive in the wilderness that does not mention food or water. We can develop disrespect for pastor or Christianity. Since some of these movies, comedy, TV shows, portray pastors and Christians in a negative light. Hmm. Some of us may imitate the violent behavior we see in TV or the movies. Hmm. So movies can make us develop impure sexual thoughts and lust. Avoid harmful entertainment and ask God before you watch, listen to, or read something. Evaluate what you let into your spirit. Evaluate what you let into your spirit.
Pick two. Hmm. Continue. Warning card. Warning card. Yeah. Ah. Down. <laughs> you must not win this game. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see. Let's Don't see. Don't worry. Mm. Yeah, they here. Yeah, Pound pay for you. Mm. Uh. Take it. Shh. Got <laughs> paid off. Hold on for my last card. Cargo market. <laughs> Check up! Yay! Can me? Dad, ah. mind your word, please. I'm just joking, Joe. Not with such nasty words. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Ah! It's in pain, you. Ah, excuse me. Hello? Yes, this is Frank Matthew speaking. Yes, 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 yes. I have the soft copy. No problem. I'll do that just now. What's that all about? Mm. Don't mind these people, Joe. I submitted my proposals in last week. But they didn't give any attention to it. Now, after wasting my time, they are demanding for soft copy. I know that they have lost the hard copy. <laughs> and I'm only doing all of this to fulfill all righteousness. Because I know they will never accept my proposal. Uh, why did you say that? Mm. Sure. <laughs> I knew it already. Reply from the same firm. Look, they turned down the proposal. As I was telling you, I have never received things easily all my life. And it's not just me. It is peculiar to my family. Uh -huh. We have to try and try and try over and over again before achieving it. We struggle to make it in my family. Uh -huh. Stop talking like that. Don't you know there is power of life and death in your tongue? You are what you say you are. Last year, February 14th, my sister Rebecca called to tell me about her medical report. Eh? She had been battling with this deadly disease called cancer. That is the medical report. I have less than two months. You will not die. But live to be dead, God's glory. Hmm? That is doctor's report. Believe in the report of the Lord. Don't stop saying it. Keep talking it. I will not die, but live. Yes, I will not die, but live. I am not going to die. I believe in God's report. That's the spirit. Yes. You will not die, but she believed and kept saying it. Rebecca declared God's word in the morning, in the afternoon, and night. She talked about living until it became part of her. Just six weeks after she received the report, she went back to her doctor. Another test was carried out, and the cancer was nowhere to be found. Wow. She was healed completely and miraculously. You can never underestimate the power of your words. There is power of life and death in your tongue. Please read Proverbs 13, verse 3. Hmm. Proverbs 13, verse 3. Those who control their tongue will have a long life. Mm -hmm. Opening your mouth can ruin everything. Give it a thought. What are you expecting the result? Today. Wow, so just like 12 hours to this time. Yeah, exactly. You know, about 1,500 candidates through the test. And the complaint only needs seven. Eh? Yeah. And you're sure you are one of the seven? Of course. In fact, I am number one on the list. I have made this one. How sure are you about this? Because you have been saying this before you went for the interview. Fred. <laughs> I am very sure. Okay. 
<laughs> Fred, Fred. Check this out. Check this out. Check it out. Fred, check it out. Your name is number one on the list. Check, Fred, check it out. I can't believe this. <laughs> oh my God. I told you, man. Wow. I told you, man. Ah. It is important you get leg before you feel get to the top in this country. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. What happened? If not because I was recommended and to that man's essay, I wouldn't have secured my ticket to France. Ah, the matter na do or die. Come see people struggling to get the ticket. <laughs> As I showed them the notes given to me, immediately I was attended to. Ah. That was why I said, before you get to the top, you must know someone at the top. Hmm. Wisdom. Now the principal team. Hey, but are you, are you now saying that the reason a lot of people are still struggling in life is because they don't have somebody to connect them? Now you are getting my point. You are getting my point. <laughs> Who am I? Eh? Who am I to access the conference ticket to France on a platter of gold? Mm. Eh? Nobody recognized me, but the connection to the Honorable Commissioner changed my story. <laughs> Guy, I'm happy for you. you. I celebrate with thank you. you. Ah. Thank so, uh, what about the money for flights and accommodation? I remember you said that the program would take more than two weeks. Are you planning to lodge in a hotel? <laughs> That is another connection. Yeah. You know how to get me bad most? Of course, of course. She promised to pay for my flight. Yeah. Yes. And secondly, I arranged for my accommodation with a friend you in France. Ah, we talked at length last week. Ah, she also promised yeah. she will talk to a friend if she can help me to get a job in France. Oh, ah, man. I see they talk that thing. They think really low. Hey! Oh, hey. <laughs> now connection. Hey, do, hey, do. <laughs> now connection. Don't jump, don't jump. Ah, don't jump, don't jump. Don't worry. When I get, when I get there, I will arrange now. I'm not going to do it. Fred and Frank. Yeah. Auntie Kemi now. Auntie Kemi, Auntie Kemi. How many times are you going to mention Auntie Kemi? <laughs> Auntie Kemi, you better pray for such connection. Hmm? See, Auntie Kemi is very rich. Eh? Money day. And she even gets connections in about four countries in Hero. Really? Hmm. Auntie Kemi is... Oh, sorry. Auntie Kemi is coming. Hello, ma. Yes, ma. I'm fine, ma. How is daddy and the children? Oh, no. You mean you're already on your way? Yes, Fred. <laughs> you should have told me and I would have come over to your place. No. I think it is the best thing to do. I made you promises. And I need to humble myself enough to explain some things to you. I'm sorry, Fred. What is the matter, Andy? My daughter, Toluani, got an admission to Harvard University. It came so soon that my husband and I had to withdraw every penny in our accounts. I'm sorry. I may not be able to fulfill my promises. Do you understand? I, I understand. 
let me congratulate you on Tuluani's admission. Thank you. Thank you. And what about the accommodation arrangement we discussed? Hmm. Is everything okay? Yeah. I promise to get you an accommodation with the family of Pamela, my friend, in France. Yes. Ah. I'm sorry. But well, that cannot be possible now. Uh, why? What happened? Pamela lost her husband yesterday. Jesus! I'm sorry. I may not be of help because I'm also helpless. I hope you will understand. I I get it. I get it. Uh, I'm sorry about your friend. So that is what she told me. Hmm. Now connection has failed. I mean as the chemist has failed you. Hmm. Do not trust him, princess. Immortal man in whom there is no salvation. Hmm. Thus says the Lord. Cause is the man who trusts the mankind and makes flesh his strength. And whose heart turns away from the Lord? It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Stop regarding man whose breath of life is in his nostril. Why should he be esteemed? Who we'll proceed down to Egypt without consulting? To take refuge in the safety of Pharaoh and to seek shelter in the shadow of Egypt. Woe to those who go down to Egypt for help and rely on horses and trust chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong but they do not look to the only one of Israel nor seek the Lord. I am sorry Lord. I am really sorry. I have trusted in man. I have trusted in human connections and forget the almighty God's connections. <coughs> I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. I always try my best. Ibami, ti ma ti lo bichela taro. Di deli ti ma ba deli bai. Oh, God. You can't understand. Hmm. A bloody idiot. So you see ba she ti Jesu ti mo rume lara. Eh? Pelu wa alon o tumbe nume. Oje ki wwa kongo e kwe fwe pelu do chen yeni. Yeah. 
idile alayo kikan shere tabi tolasan, okon fun ogban, oye imon, ati agbara oloron, ero ija fun igbe ya wu alayo. Ba wone mo shele nyan ya tabi okorere, igbe se wone mo legbe, la ti te okon tabi aya meloron. Ba wo la shele bori ota, ati e shu nino elewa, ono wo la legba la ti to awan mwa, ki wan le nyan, ki wan si nyan ju, ba wo la shele to idile to ti da wu, ba wone mo shele ni idile alayo. Bobo idan yi, le le rini nou ere idili alayo, ti yo ma ton yi wa lò sò se. Oru kote mini, fi sa yo mousis on lò ron jola, FMO. O lò tu edo idili alayo. Eje kat yo sò wipe, idili alayo. Idili wa! Idili wa!